Okay, I'm going to be explaining our trace that we use for catching pompano. There's two different baits that we use a lot of. One is squid or chocker and the other one would be sea lass. Both of these baits are white so we stick to silver hooks for it. Um, pompano generally feed in clean water. Um, tackle that we're going to use for making this trace. Grapnel sinker, weed eater sinker, cone sinker, doesn't really matter. For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to use basically our lovely cone sinker with a little clip on it. Okay. We use our ring soy fava if we're going to be using sea lice. That's our ring fava for sea lice. Kendall round. We've used it for years, it works extremely well. This is basically our 3 0 size uh, Kendall round. It works very, very well if you're using little squid baits, bay squid, chocker baits, stuff like that. It's a straight shank, inline hook, works very well for those kind of baits. Some flotation, especially if it's going to be a chocker bait. Um, if it's a sea lice, we don't use any flotation. And that would be with a sui, no flotation with a sui hook. But for that one, we definitely would with a Kendall round. Line, okay. Our Siglon fluorocarbon, I don't recommend you go over 17 kilo. Um, although, depending on the size of the fish and where you're fishing for it, you might need to. If you're fishing over ledges and that, 19 kilo. But I would never go heavier than that. Um, 17 kilo, generally beach fishing, um, clean fishing, I like, I like to call it. You're fishing light, 17 kilo is all that you need for the pompano. You don't need anything heavier than that. Sinker snooting, you can use 16 kilo kingfisher up to 20 kilo, it's up to you. Uh, preferably for this bait demonstration, I'm going to use the same breaking strain as I am the nylon, and that'll be the 16 kilo kingfisher. Kingfisher thin latex, I know they all look the same, but read very carefully. You'll see on them it'll say thin, medium, thick. I'm using the medium today just to tie on the actual flotation. But if I was using the bait and making the bait one, I'd be using the thin. Okay? For the flotation part of it, I'm going to be using medium. Okay. Mustard scissors, uh, they braid scissors and normal scissors, they work extremely well. Lightweight, easy to use. Our um, power combo swivels, this is the 5x6, it's the smallest size that we do have. Um, Pompano are very visual fish, so stick to as light as possible for everything, whether it be the line, the hooks, everything like that, go as light as possible. Five and six combo swivel is what I require for this particular trace. Okay, let's make it. I'm going to do the chocker one first and then I'll do the sea lice one next. Okay. Kendall round. 3-0. These hooks are sharp when they come out of a packet, um, but you can always just sharp them up on a stone. I mean, these things are sharp enough these days. Fluorocarbon, 17 kilo. We're going to make this trace about 400 long. We're going to be using chocker bait, bay squid, pink prawn bait, so we make it about 400 long. I'm just going to do that. Mustard scissors and we just give it a bit of a snip. Okay. To attach it, all I'm going to do is go through it, like so, through the eye. And fluorocarbon, as you know, goes invisible in water. That's why we use it. And it's very wiry. Once, twice, three times around my finger, back through the back of it. Okay, like that. And we open it up to form our figure of eight. There we go, figure of eight formed. Just going to lubricate because I don't want to burn it. Slide it down. And as I get to the end part over there, I'm just going to take this little bit of a tag end that I've got and stick it behind the eye. Here. I'm going to be making a, what they call a wishbone. And I'll fill it as tight as I can. It's not going nowhere. Snip that off. 
that little wishbone part I'm just cutting off and I'll show you why we do that later on cut the tag end off nice and close so basically if you have a look there you can see what I've done I've got a little piece of nylon coming through that side you can use a toothpick if you want onto the actual thing what it's going to do is going to stop the the bait from moving okay step one done next is to grab our uh, power swivel here yeah? this is the five by six small power swivel smallest one that you do get over there go through and uh, again the big R of the actual swivel goes to your leader the small R is going to be to the hook and that's in a straight line okay again all I'm doing is a figure of eight so we go around one two three times open it up there's the figure of eight pull reasonably tight lubricate and slide all the way down take your hook and put it through the big part of the eye of the swivel and we just pull against it just to make sure that the actual knot has pulled up tight cut off the tag end reasonably close just giving yourself a little bit of extra line sticking out because it's fluorocarbon you need to give it a nice little tug to straighten the whole trace out and that's about 400 to 500 in length okay because fluorocarbon is expensive I like to use a cheaper line for the sinker snoot and again I make it also about 500 long maybe a little bit longer because we're going to clip this bait and throw okay so what we do now is go through the eye figure of eight one two three times around back through open it up there's your figure of eight slide it down pull tight cut off the tag end now we measure the distance because so I'm going to be using a, a, a cone sinker so I cut it off over here there's my cone sinker with a little bit of a swivel on it attach it by doing a figure of eight everything is a figure of eight in this trace one two three times around back through open up the figure of eight slide down pull tight and cut off the tag end okay I like to cut it off very closely because when you actually put the bait on if there's any loose pieces of latex cotton sticking out it does tend to hook on the actual tag ends so if you cut it off nice and neatly and cleanly it shouldn't actually hook onto your actual bait when casting I'm going to make sure the length is right that is more than ample that trace is going to be hooked on there okay. next step our flotation which is basically pre-cut for us we're just going to cut it down a little bit more so we're going to go from that size and we're going to cut it down a little bit on this side yeah. Pompano have got very small mouths they don't like very big baits at all yeah, that's good so a nice small clean little bait like that and again that little wishbone that we put in over there stops this from actually moving when the flotation is actually in it and when you pull against it as well the hook won't slide on the actual foam or be pulled off of the foam okay so medium uh, kingfisher latex cotton for tying this and again like I said when it comes to tying baits because they're very visual the pompano you need to use a very thin latex cotton the thinner the better 
So what we do is we go around here, and again, let's just do this here, guys, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And a lot of it is wrapped crisscross around that wishbone part because that's the most important part of this whole trace. That's what's holding it in place. Okay, to finish it off, all we do is just do a loop over the actual thing like that. And again, just to do it, guys, through and over, pull tight, through, over, over. Just a, a basic whip finish, that's all it really is. Pull it loose, and that there is what I'm trying to achieve. So you can see how nicely that's going to hold a squid bait on. And you can see here, it's not going to twist. That wishbone's not twisting the actual foam at all. It's locking it in. So I'm pulling quite hard on it, and you can see it holds it in place. Okay, just a little trick there to keep that little wishbone going. Nice, small, sharp hook. A um, little squid bait, not much bigger than my finger would fit on there because you don't want it to be too big and that'll be an ideal bait. There's the trace and again that will fit on there perfectly for throwing purposes. When it hits the water it's going to come off, it's going to float a bit up so even if there's a kingfish around the kingfish will eat it, the pompano will eat it and if there's a stumpy there as well they'll eat it very easy trace to use for catching those fish and that's it guys five by six swivel 30 um, uh, 4 8 60 kindle round and a little thing you can see the fluorocarbon there very nice okay